But at this time, it has gotten the pathogen and it is showing the components and it is releasing IL-12. Now what happens? This IL-12, so I'm just going to do one more thing over here. So I'm creating one more separation. So we have outside the body, outside the city, we got in the pathogen inside. The pathogen which came in got arrested by the cops which were surveying the area. They have gotten the pathogen and now we have gotten some pieces, you know the clothing of the pathogen, well he was wearing this ski mask and look at this ski mask, whatever. And they are secreting signals and we would see more that this whole thing is called innate arm, innate arm of the immune system. So we'll talk more about various arms and how do they work. At this time, this is the innate response. We'll talk more. Then this IL-12, it acts on a set of cells which are called acquired, acquired immune system. So this was innate immune system, right? So innate immune system, we'll talk more about it, that what is that system, what does it do? I'm just showing one piece over here. But the important thing to understand, the important thing, so if you, out of all the immunology lectures, if you wanted to remember one thing, that one thing will be that the antigen presenting cell, APC, a cell which is showing antigen on its surface. An antigen presenting cell or we could say it more specifically as well, a macrophage, although dendritic cell and B cells are also antigen presenting, a macrophage creates a bridge between the innate and acquired arm of the immune system. So if out of all the immunology lectures, if you remembered this one thing, you would have a very solid understanding of how things are working. One sentence, and that is the macrophage will act as, or antigen presenting cells will act as a bridge between the acquired and innate arm. So we'll talk more about it We'll talk about macrophage, we'll talk about dendritic cells, we'll see how this would become an arm. At this time, important thing to note is the IL-12 will go here to the acquired arm and over there, let's say, we have this really fun looking T cell. So I made this T over here to say it's a T cell. So we'll talk about it that acquired cells have two primary type of cells, T cells for thymus and B cells for bursa or for bone marrow. We'll talk more about them, but at this time, pay attention to this that let's say we have a T cell who is a T0 cell. He is a naive cell. He is sort of saying, hmm? he is a naive T cell. So there sits a naive T cell in the lymph node. That naive T cell is now, he is always showing receptors on him. So he, he is the guy who does not know what is his function in, in the world. So he is asking everyone, hey, what is my function in this life? What do I, what am I supposed to do? So he is showing receptors. So he is all ears, he is listening to everyone. So he is showing receptors which would allow the interleukin 12 to come and attach. This naive T cell also shows receptors to allow interleukin 4, interleukin 4 to come and attach as well. So a naive T helper cell. Again, we have not talked about these cells. We would talk more in detail. You would know everything about them. At this time, bigger picture, we have reached from innate 
to acquired. So over there, there is a guy who is sitting around in the lymph node. He is, he is a naive T cell. He is called T helper 0. He is a helper as well. We will see why he is a helper. He is sitting there and he is saying, well, what is my function? And so when IL-12 comes and attaches, when he listens to IL-12, IL-12 is a chemical substance coming from the macrophage via the blood and reaches the helper cell. When he listens to IL-12, immediately this naive T cell finds his objective in the life. All of a sudden he says, oh yes, I know what am I supposed to do. So here he gets converted. into a more happy and sharp looking T helper 1, T helper 1. So T helper 1, if you see he's, he's like a little bit more aware of his surroundings I guess. So he knows what his function is. So you can remember it by this, look IL-12 has 1 in it and 2. So, we would take the 